Yeah, what you see in the Netherlands, and it's not just related to development cooperation, but it, and it has already started uh, some years ago, is that uh, the, the, the national government is taking a step back, leaving more to civil society actors. So it's not uh, that they don't play a role, but their role is changing, more like a facilitator and an enabler. Um, and they expect more from civil society actors to also take initiative, to take the lead. So what you see also in the field of international um, development cooperation, um, this is also um, something you find at that level. So um, the, the national go go uh, government is also expecting more from the private sector, from uh, CSOs, from uh, local authorities to act actively fulfill their roles. They are not waiting for some kind of national strategy, but they are already taking initiatives. They are exploring what they can do. For example, um, there's a, an SDG ambassador, an SDG coordinator. Um, there are focal points within each ministry. Um, and at the grassroots level, um, you see there are several initiatives taking place. And we have a Global Goals Charter, where 17 organizations are actually um, coming together. Um, and they are CSOs, they are the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they are the private sector. Um, and under the umbrella of this Global Coast Charter, you find different uh, smaller partnerships focusing on health or sustainable cities. And, and actually, they are now in the making. Um, it's, it is good to mention that the CSOs who are working in development cooperation are having a, quite a difficult task at this moment because they've been cut down uh, in their budget. Um, so they have to find also other ways of funding. In the Netherlands you have a, a system of co-financing whereby the, lo the national government has some funding schemes where CSOs can participate and they're actually doing a lot of work uh, in, the, in, the in the field of development cooperation. Um, and one of these um, funding schemes has just uh, finalized in 2015 and that also marked uh, a change in where CSOs can now apply for other ways of, of funding in strategic partnerships. So um, actually to the, from 2015 to 2016 was an important shift in where many CSOs have less budget um, and they look for other ways of funding. For example, they will look for uh, maybe they can get funds from other ministries. Um, uh, uh, they can cut funding from the philanthropists, philanthropi like the large philanthropists, for example. But also, some of them they are joining partnerships with the private sector. So there are various sources. So it's 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 been a challenging time for most CSOs.